there's the coin toss. North Greenville will receive as you see both teams making their way onto the field here at Yonk Stadium for the home opener between the visiting Bears of Lenore Ryan and your North Greenville Crusaders. Will Hunter back in shotgun formation. Bobby Foose will come in motion to the right side. Two receivers to the left. Here's the handoff. Foose will block. Norman with a big hole. Norman turns the corner. He's got a man to beat. Lowers his head. Picks up the first down. And that's a big time run from Jarvion Norman. One to the right. Four man front for the Bears. Hunter drops back. Plenty of time. He's got Foose on a seam route right down the middle of the field. And that's a big pickup. Hunter, you talked about it. The offensive line gave. Will Hunter, the time he needed to make the throw. And here is the snap. Ball is down. Kick from Gravely is up. It's easy money as Gravely will connect and put three points on the board for the Crusaders. And they will take an early 3-0 lead with 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Get one more playoff. Grayson Willingham will... Pitch it right side. They've got a block, and this could be a big pickup for the Bears. It is across midfield, out of bounds to end the quarter. The Bears have just maybe tripled the amount of offense on one play. This is the first time we've seen Lenore Ryan take a shot downfield. Here's a handoff this time right in the middle, a broken tackle, another broken tackle, and this time Lenore Ryan might find Paydirt. They're awful close, and it is going to be a touchdown for the Bears as Xavion Huff, 5'8", 180-pound running back, just takes it right up the middle. North Greenville could not tackle him and bring him down. And all of a sudden, Lenore Ryan has taken the lead on the carry. This time it's a handoff jet sweep to the right side. Walking in the end zone is Jaquay Mitchell. And now all of a sudden, 13-3 is the score for the Bears on top. We are Chase Allball had the PAT bank in last time. Here's the snap, holds down, kick is up. It's blocked, and it's going the other way. That one hits off of a Crusader, and we have a 10-point game, a little momentum shift. I'll tell you what, that's a big-time play. I believe that was Chauncey Haney who got in and made the block. That's a big-time play. I'll tell you what, that one point... That's big. Yeah, this is big. Third and long here. 31-yard line is where the ball is spotted. This is a big break for North Greenville. They can get off the field. They got to get off the field right here. Third and 17. Willingham and shotgun. You don't see that much. He drops back. Looking deep. Throws. And it is going to be caught after it's tipped. And it's a foot race to the end zone. And Lenora Ryan will strike again. Xavion Ralph. Who saw that coming? The ball is tipped in the air, and I thought it might result in a chance for an interception, but all of a sudden, Lenore Ryan has busted this open 19 to 3. Now Foose will come in motion to the right or to the left of Hunter, and Hunter drops back. No time again, and he is dropped. As I tell you what, it looked like Dan Luba came in untouched. I mean, Dan Luba just came right down the middle, 6'1", 270, and brought Will Hunter down. That offensive line is not giving Hunter the time he needs to get a pass off, and that's going to bring up fourth and a mile. First and ten. Willingham under center. There's the shift. And in motion, handoff right up the middle, a big hole, and a... One man to beat. Actually, I think this is a easy, well, a dive towards the end zone, and I believe he got the touchdown. And I tell you what, Lenore Ryan, Xavion Huff, he's racking up the touchdown tonight, and all of a sudden the Bears have opened this thing wide open. 26 to 3. Worry about getting the first down. Here's the snap. Pressure's on, and it's caught. Damage Rooks, he's got the first down. Feet still going. He's at the six-yard line. And now you call a timeout, and you're set up first and goal from the five. Norman stands to Hunter's right. 
Cattle Fomo lined up all by himself on the left. Hunter drops back. Slant pattern, end zone, caught Demajay Rooks for the first touchdown on the field at Yawn Stadium this season. Try anything tricky. Willingham will take the knee, and the Bears will go into the locker room, leading 27 to 10. North Greenville did end the half with a little momentum. However, still a lot of work to do, down 27-10. And as we talked about, Lenore Ryan does get the ball back to start the second half. Kind of confusing that front line for North Greenville. Willingham drops back this time out of the center, throws a big ball down the left side of the field. It's caught in a broken tackle. And two plays in the second half and a big reception for a touchdown. How about that? Wow. Excuse me. Ken Drummond and Demage Rooks. Drummond will catch it at the five. Follow a couple of blocks. Right up the middle of the field. There's a big hole. Ken Drummond. There's one man to beat. He stutter steps, stiff arm, still going, gets out of bounds at midfield, and that's a big return and a big momentum shift, which shifts right back to the Crusaders. They desperately need a score on every drive. is critical the rest of the game, Hunter, and they've got to get some momentum and start scoring just about on every drive. Not shy away from the run completely, but almost just abandon it. Oh, and this one's picked off, going the other way. First pass of the second half, Kyle Duggar, and cuts off Bobby Foose. And, man, this thing just <laughs> not, yeah, yeah, not, not looking good. I'm telling you what. With the kick, it's up. It's got the distance, and it is right down the middle. A nice kick from Chase Allball. And that brings the score to 37-10. Lenore Ryan, second and seven. Shotgun formation. Quick out route, right side, first down, and the ball is on the ground, and Lenore Ryan has it. Tell you what, that was a great pass and a great catch by Cattle Fomo, and he picked up the first down. And that's just efficient football right there, moving the ball up the field. Here's a snap. Play action. Drops back. Goes deep. North Greenville's going to be there, and another turnover, except this time it's in favor of the Crusaders. And who is that that caught that? Aaron Watson. Aaron Watson on the reception. Burns High School alum. Here's a second down. Handoff again. And this is a big hole, and I tell you what, this might turn into six. Finally brought down Darnell Jackson with a big pickup. Willingham under center gets the snap, drops back, looking in the end zone. He's got a man, and he can do it on the ground, and he can do it through the air. Grayson Willingham connects with TJ Smith for a bare touchdown, and Lenore Ryan is rolling on the road. They have to get their first win of the season now. Man, we bragged all game long about this Lenore Ryan running game, but Grayson Willingham just threw his third touchdown <laughs> pass, uh, kind of getting it done, and it's it's been fun to watch with the football again. So quarterback change, though, for Lenore Ryan. It's going to be Mike Brown. We saw uh, one play earlier of Mike Brown as he now airs it out, shows off his arm, and uh, just like that, the Bears have struck again. How about that? A big throw by Mike Brown, the backup quarterback, and they have hit the 50 mark. Yeah, 50 points on your home turf. That is, uh, that's not sitting well with anybody on North Greenville's sideline, and uh, you know, next week will be a tough week, no doubt, for North Greenville as far as practice and preparation goes for their next game. Here's a snap. Hunter drops back, pressure's coming. He dances around in the pocket, goes deep, and he's got a man, and it is caught in bear territory for a big first down, and that is going to be Jordan Helms, who kind of broke away and snuck out behind the secondary. Hunter will take the next snap now. Quick pass left side, and it is going to be picked wow. off. 
Damage Rooks was the intended receiver, and just when you thought you had a little bit of momentum, Lenore Ryan says, no, we're going to steal it right back. And how about the Bears? Lenore Ryan does like to run the football. You'd expect him to take a lot of time off the clock here. Here's the handoff right up the middle. Oh, and balls on the loot. Uh, balls on the ground, excuse me. And the Crusaders have it. What a, I, I was watching, yeah. but I never saw the ball. I think it was just stripped. What a game this, what a game this has been for uh, Turnover. turnovers. Yeah. How about that? Well, that's going to be Lenore Ryan's second turnover of the night, uh, second fumble of the night. No, excuse me, fumble and an interception. Yeah, how about that? Excuse me. On the 16-yard line, Crusaders trying to get their second touchdown of the game. A uh, dart in zone, and it is going to be Catafomo for the touchdown. Second touchdown of the game. Crusaders not thrown away quietly. Hunter connects to Catafomo, and it is 51 to 16 with 5:49 to go. First and ten. Will Hunter still in the ball game? Here's a snap. Hunter drops back. Looking deep, throws across the middle of the field. He's got Christian Bruce. He breaks a tackle. Brought down around the 40-yard line. A big pickup. Wow. 143 to go. Hunter takes the snap. Rolls right now. Goes across the middle. It's caught with contact. That's Martin. Or is that Lucas Califomo? I believe that was Cattle Fumble on the reception. Yep. Lucas. North Greenville made a couple of mistakes and just could not get things going when they needed to. In the second quarter was all Lenore Ryan. And Jeff Farrington's the first one out to meet Coach Drew Chronic. And there's Drew Chronic and Jeff Farrington shaking hands at midfield. And that is the final again. 51-24, Lenore Ryan on top of the Crusaders.